Hi. Um, this video I'm going to explain difference between multiprocessing and multithreading with the help of a real life example. So we'll see this multiprocessing and multithreading concept in a real life. So say for example we are having a grocery store and this store uh, there is only one person to handle all the customers. So if we look at the work is doing so first work accounting here so billing handling customer if the customer is asking any query maintaining cleaning so he is only the one who is doing, doing all the task so but a particular time he can do only one task for example say if some customer came to his shop and uh, they bought something so if at a time if he is billing uh, making bill for those customer at that time he cannot serve another person so say the number of customers increased and he not able to handle all those customers so one solution uh, that might be possible is that he just opened a new shop and hired one more person now if you look at the solution this solution is very is not feasible if at the same if the number of customers increase at that shop as well opening a new shop is not seems feasible because it require investment so it's not a good option instead of that is uh, opening instead of opening a new shop another solution if he can hire another person for handling multiple customers so this scenario actually equal to the multi-threading we are not uh, creating a process we are actually hiring the another person we are just creating a execution threat so here if you can see if we consider this grocery store is a process and this person is a threat so by default every process has only one thread so take one example of a C program if we are writing a C program so in that program every instruction will be executed in a sequence one by one first second third so it won't be possible to execute multiple instruction at the same time because we are having only one thread of control one thread of execution same scenario here in this grocery store this person can do only one task at a time so this is the multiple multi-processing uh, in case of process we create a new process completely new process so the new process also needs some space in memory and here multi-threading we don't create any process we just create a thread of execution so now if we see this scenario one grocery store having four persons so they can perform four tasks simultaneously the so same scenario happen when a program has multiple thread that program can support multiple task execution at the same time the simple example we can take is browser when we open uh, multiple tabs each tab is handled by one thread so instead of opening a browser a new browser we will open a tab so opening a tab is considered as a multi-threading and opening a new browser every time you want to open a website is considered as a multi-processing so what happened uh, whenever we start a program so program in execution state known as process and these are the uh, information regarding that process stored in a data structure this data structure actually known as process control block PC B. so if you can see there are a lot of information stored whenever a process is started now when a thread is started thread actually share process memory space so thread they maintain only four information stack state register and program counter so if we look at the size required by process and thread so if we started a program say for example this is one process we started one more program another process this is another process so every process need to store a lot of information now if you look at the thread 
thread require only a small piece of information. So this is the reason why thread is known as lightweight process. So this is the difference between multiprocessing and multi-threading. Multiprocessing we create multiple process and every process having only single thread of execution while in multi-threading there is only one process the number of threads are more than one thank you for watching